We are on an Australian adventure. There are some things in Australia that you find that maybe you find in other places in the world like India or England, but in America you just don't have the exposure to it. Like for example, a cricket bat. I've never seen one before until we came down here today. We're gonna cut this thing in half and these are all the people that have asked for us to do this video. My guess is it's probably just wood inside, but... Yeah, that's my guess also, but we, we need to find out. When you're gonna bat, you need the helmet, gloves, your bat, obviously, bat. and these guys, and these guys. Okay, so I put it down like this, and then I lift it, and yeah. If the ball hits the stump, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> How's it feel to get your dad out? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and again! <laughs> oh, oh, nice. We're here in Perth, Australia at the beautiful beach because we can't go to Australia without going to the beach. They say that this is one of the stormiest days that they have throughout the year. So the cricket bat, cricket ball, ocean. You know I gotta hit one in the ocean. Let's see if this thing will float. It was like the best hit I hit all day, but it wasn't going 60 miles an hour. It came back! Yes! You found it! There it is! I was just chasing some seagulls over there, and I see this like ball, and I'm like, what? Will a cricket ball float in the ocean? The answer is yes. Maybe. It's like a boomerang, it will come back to you. We can't carry it on on the plane, right, Lincoln? Why? They don't think that you'll hurt someone's coming. I will bonk somebody on the head with the kookaburra bat. So because of that, if we shipped it, it would be $86. Or we, what they do is bubble wrapping, $11 per item. So we are gonna bubble wrap it up, and then <laughs> we'll just like check it as a bag and just hope that it makes it. What do you think, Lincoln? Think it's gonna make it? 90% sure. Oh, that's, that's good. Cool. I like that's those good. odds. We have our cricket bat. Lincoln, put it in there. We're bringing this bat carefully in bubble wrap all the way home just so we can cut it in half. Goodbye, bat. I'll miss you. I get stuck. <laughs> Got stuck at the end. We were getting so close, so we were in Perth. It was about a four hour flight to Sydney and then a 12 hour flight about. to LAX. And now we're here. I don't know what time of the day it is or what day it is, but we should be home in a few hours. We did a video a while back with the Meteorite and we partnered with audible.com and they hooked us up with a code for you guys to listen to. Well, the good news is they are letting us do this thing called Audible on the Road where we travel around to different places and we get to do cool stuff. This trip was sponsored by Audible. On the flight, we listened to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets book two. And that was really cool. I love the Harry Potter series. It helps pass the time when you listen to audiobooks. You just kind of get lost in the world. We could cut open a cricket bat anywhere, but isn't it so much cooler that we actually go to Australia and get one from Australia? So Audible made that possible. So show them some love. Go to audible.com and download your free book. Use the What's Inside link. And if you didn't like it after 30 days, well, you can cancel it and keep the free book. Good news is it made it! Yay! Yeah! Stickers and stuff all over it. Here, here, here. I'll cut it. All right, Lincoln with the razor blade. Look there, look there. <laughs> the unboxing. <laughs> Ten minutes of Lincoln taking bubble wrap off of something. Time to get down to business. Kookaburra bat, cricket from down under. What have we learned today? I hate this new saw that I have. It's still making noise in there. <laughs> Would not cut in a straight line. Now it's stuck in there. Okay, this saw is terrible. Well, it's been a few weeks and uh, we still have two halves of porta potties and a chopped up mannequin in our backyard. But we have a new plan of action here. I'm just gonna set it down and just chop it open. My line 
line is a little off. Hey, it's good. You can see what's inside of it. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good. Heck no, that's not good enough. This is what's inside. I mean, not in Got him! Nice. Just Take that cricket bat. We got it. Oh! I thought the cricket bat was gonna win this battle. Here's the handle, let's start there and work our way down. There's some black lines inside of it. And then this is just like string. And then this is from the saw, this red marking. Yeah, but check this out. It, it turns into some different colored wood right here. Yeah. Brown right there and it's soft right there. It's interesting because when I got when I got to about right here, it started going a lot easier. So I think this wood is softer. Yeah. This is where the two come together. And, and then, then you keep going down and it's just one solid piece of wood. It's a kookaburra cricket bat. I don't know what makes that uh, more expensive and better than the other bats yeah. because it is just wood. We're gonna go on a couple more fun adventures either by car, by train, or by plane to find something unique from a unique place just like we found a cricket bat from Perth, Australia. Give us an idea below. Where other, what other places would you like us to travel to to find something unique to that location to cut open?